Hi everyone, I'm going to go over a few methods that you can use with your child at home to practice putting on their jacket or putting on their coat. Uh, I'm going to show you four methods. They're very brief, but make sure that you check in with your child's teacher to see what method they think might be best for your child to practice with at home or is the method that they use in the classroom. Keeping that routine will help them to learn how to put on a jacket independently a lot quicker. So quick check in, just say, hey, I want to practice putting on my child's jacket. Which method should, should I use? So this program or this skill falls under a category that we call activities of daily living. These are super important skills because just like washing your hands, getting dressed, packing up by yourself, these are all skills that your children or our students need to learn to build independence in everyday activities. So putting on your jacket can be something that you practice simply every time you go outside or um, at the beginning of the day, just to do it quickly. It's a quick activity. It can be fun. So I will show you each of those four methods, I'll show you how to correctly respond when your child does it correctly and how to correct them if they do not. The first method that I'm going to show you is the chair method. So just keep in mind when you are doing a program like this with your child, make sure that the area is set up before you give any directions. You don't want to be setting up the jacket after you give them the direction. They want to, You want to be prepared. So I have the jacket already on the chair. I'm going to show you what a correct response might look like. So as you can see, I don't have the jacket laying in front because if your child tries to put their arms through, they might get caught on the back of the chair. So I have it draped over the back like this so they can put either arm on each side. When your jacket is ready, you're gonna give the direction, put on your jacket. They can come around, sit down, put one arm in, another arm in, and then they stand up. They stand up to get the back of the jacket off of the back of the chair. So if they do this correctly, you give them praise. Great job, you put on your jacket, a high five, a fist bump, whatever you're feeling to make sure that they understand they did it right and that you're proud of them and that they'll wanna do it more and more and more. So I'm going to show you a method that you can use on the floor or on the table, uh, wherever you have space. So for this method, you're going to lay the hood of the jacket farthest away from your child. Let me move this so you can see it a little bit better. So the hood's going to be farthest away. They're going to be sitting like so in front of it, and you're going to give the direction, put on your jacket. The first thing they're going to want to do is take the opposite arm, put it in the opposite sleeve, push it up, bring this one around. Great job, you put on your jacket. Again, make sure you praise them, you reinforce them if they did it correctly. Another method that you can use is the flip over method. This time the hood is going to be closest to your child. So you're gonna flip it in the opposite direction. Now for this one, you can put both arms in at once. So you're going to stick both arms in and flip it over your head. And up. Great job. You put on your jacket. Again, I praise they did it correctly. And that's how the flip over method might look. So the other method that you might want to use with your child is called the um, hood method. So you're going to put the hood on their head. I will show you this one too. You can do this one standing up. So you're going to take the hood of the jacket. If you don't have a hooded jacket, again, you don't want to use this method, but if you do, this is a good one as well. You're going to put the hood on the back of the jacket, make sure that the arms are up, and you're going to give them the direction, put on your jacket so that the arms are already in the correct space. They just have to put one in. I'm gonna take the hood off for the purpose of this so you can see me, and then the other one in. They put the jacket on correctly. You give them a high five, a fist bump. Great job, you did it. You put on your jacket by yourself. Um, so that is the hood method. I'm going to show you quickly what um, you might do if they are putting the jacket on incorrectly or if they're stuck and then you can try it at home. I'm just going to use um, one of the floor methods to show you what you might do. I'm gonna use the 
one where the hood is farthest away. If you see that your child is putting the closest arm into the closest hole, you just want to make sure you model it for them. So you're not going to be putting yourself and you're not going to be putting the jacket on yourself, but you want to put your hand over their hand and show them where to put their hand or their arm in the jacket. So they're reaching for this side, you're going to grab their hand, bring it to this one, model putting on that sleeve and help them put on the other side of the sleeve too. Once you do that, you can take the jacket back off. And do it again and make sure that you represent the direction. So if they reach for this side, you're going to say, put on your jacket and show them the correct way. And then you say, you put on your jacket. Great job. Because they did it correctly, you modeled how to do it for them. So again, make sure you just check in with your teacher on which method to use with your child and have fun.